Okay, so I hope you are happy. I hope you are in good condition right there. Yeah. Um, today we are going to learn English with Miss Susna. So we are going to uh, learn chapter six here. Uh, no, sorry, chapter eight. Yeah. So the title here is celebrations. So please um, prepare your books, your student book, and also your activity book. Okay, are you ready, guys? So now we are going to start. Yeah. So chapter eight. The title here is celebration. So here we are going to learn about the use of who, that, when, and where. Okay, here are the vocabularies that you will learn here. So, this is these, and then costume, and then lantern, and then carriage, give, uh, decoration, firewalk, and this one is celebrate, okay, celebration, uh, dragon, okay, those are the vocabulary, yeah. So now, we are going to start from lesson two. So here I will read it for you. So please uh, open your book, uh, chapter eight, and then find out lesson two this is about how do people celebrate in different parts of the world yeah so i will read it for you so you have to listen yeah okay in scotland we celebrate new years we call the celebration homony we always have a party at our house on december 31st the last day of the year the person who arrives first after midnight brings a special gift. Outland Shine is a song that we sing at midnight. The Chinese New Year is a celebration that is in January or February. There is a big parade for Chinese New Year. The people who walk in the parades wear animal costumes, lions or dragons. The dragon is a creature that is very important in the Chinese New Year celebration. Okay, next. Hi, I'm from India. My family celebrates the festival of Diwali. Diwali is a five-day festival that starts between mid-October and mid-November. It means festi festival of light. Dipa are small oil lantern that Hindu people like. People who celebrate Diwali wear new clothes and give gifts. And then in Japan, we celebrate Cherry Blossom Festival, usually in March or April. Every year, we have a picnic under the trees with family and friends. The girl who is sitting under the tree is my sister. Everyone bring a lot of food, onigiri or special bowls of rice that people eat. It's a real feast. Okay, that is lesson two. So in this lesson, we are going to learn about the use of who and also that. Yeah, look at this one. We start from the use of who. Yeah. So, uh, who? We use who to give the information about someone. Here is uh, examples. For example, in a sentence, uh, people who live in Bali celebrate Yapi Day. This is uh, examples of the use of who in a sentence. Yeah. So, people who live in Bali celebrate their birthday. So, here look at the subject people here. People, people is, yeah, 
this is a people or a person the subject uh, uh, give information about someone yeah so you have to use who here jadi anak-anak jika subjeknya itu adalah orang jadi kalian harus menggunakan kata who untuk menjelaskan orang tersebut oke, okay, dia misalnya orang ini ya oke okay. we continue to the use of that this one so we use that to give information about something ya yeah. here is the example oke, okay, this one is the example so The example is a creature that is very important in Chinese New Year is a dragon. So look at the subject here, a creature. A creature is what? A thing. So if you find that the subject is a thing, you have to use that yeah, to explain about something. Okay. Jadi kalau subjeknya adalah benda berarti di sini kamu menggunakan apa that ya oke you understand what I mean so we are going to the next nah so now uh, please look at uh, this paragraph ya yeah. so now you have to find now the word that is contain that contain uh, Who and also that. So we start from paragraph one. Yeah. Can you find it out? Yeah. In paragraph one, this is uh, the sentence. The person who arrives first after midnight brings a special gift. That is the use of who here, yeah. Who. And then. Outland Shine is a song that we sing at midnight. So this is use what? Okay, we use that here. Yeah, to explain about something. And then we move to uh, paragraph two here. Can you find out the word, uh, the sentence containing uh, who or that here? Let's see. This one. The people who walk in the parish wear animal costume. Lion or dragon. And then the next one. The dragon is a creature that is very important in the Chinese New Year celebration. So the first sentence here use who. And then the second, this one, the sentence use that. Okay, now what this one? Can you find it out? Yeah? So let's see which one is uh, or the sentence that use okay okay this one Deepa are small oil lantern that Hindu people like they okay, use that here yeah and then people you celebrate regularly is that the sentence no okay 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 now we move to This one, can you find it out? Okay, this one, the girl who is sitting under the tree is my sister. This is use who. And then, uh, use who here. And then everyone, oh no, not that one, this one. Only giving our special bowls of rice that people eat. So you use what here? That. Okay, for the clear explanation, We will see one by one here. Okay. In the paragraph one, the sentence is the first one is the person who arrives first after midnight brings special gift. So look at this one. The subject is this person or um thing? Ini orang atau benda? What do you think? 
Yeah, it's used to give information about time. Yeah, let's see the example. So, birthday are when you are invite friend and celebrate. So, look at the subject birthday here. Birthdays, yeah. Here. So, this is what? Time. So, because you use a time, you, can, uh, you have to use what here? When. Jadi, ini uh, adalah waktu. Jadi, kamu pakai apa di sini? When. Okay. So, so far, do you understand uh, about my explanation? I hope you understand about my explanation. Yeah? Okay. So, in short, in conclusion, uh, this is uh, the way how you memorize it. So, it can be explained as follow. Well, yeah? Okay. This is the way how you uh, memorize it. Yeah? Who? Explain about person and then that explain about thing and then where explain about place and then when explain about time. Okay, so we are going to continue. So now uh, we try to uh, create a, a sentence. From two sentences. Jadi sekarang kita akan coba membuat dua e, membuat satu kalimat yang berasal dari gabungan dua kalimat. Ya. The example is like this. Oke, okay, the first example. This one. Sentence one. The boy is sitting next to Sarah. This is the first sentence, and then the second sentence is, "He is my brother." Okay. So how do we make this uh, these two sentences become one sentence, one new sentence? So look at the way. Yeah. This one. The first sentence is, uh, "The boy is sitting next to Sarah." So look at this sentence. The boy. Look at the subject of the sentence. The boy uh, is this a uh, thing or a uh, person? What do you think? Yeah, this is a person. Yeah, that's good. This is a person. So, because this is a person, you have to what? What should you do? You have to add after the subject boy with what? Who? So the sentence, the first sentence becomes the boy who is sitting next to Sarah. Yeah. So that is the first sentence. The second sentence. So the second sentence is he is my brother because uh, he here explain about the boy, so you don't need uh, he again here. So you. Here is the subject he, yeah. And then let's see the new sentence is become like this, yeah. This one. The boy who is sitting next to Sarah is my brother. So you don't need he here again. So you erase he. So the boy who is sitting next to Sarah is my brother. So that is the examples of how you create two sentences uh, become one sentence. Yeah. Okay, the next example. Examples two. I have two sentences here. So I have sentence one. The card is on the table. Okay, and then sentence two. It's from my aunt. So can you please uh, make these two sentences become one? Okay, how do you uh, create the new sentence? So the way is like this, the same way like before, yeah? Sentence one, the card is on the table. So it 
means that look at the subject here. The subject is people or thing. Orang atau benda subjeknya here. Okay. So this is a thing. Yeah, benda. It means that you have to add here with what? That. Yeah. The card that is on the table. Okay, that is the first sentence, and then the second sentence. It's from my aunt. Okay. The card here is the same with it. So we don't need it again in our new sentence. You don't uh, need it in your new sentence. Yeah. So you have to erase. The subject it, yeah, it erases, 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 and then after that, so the new sentence is become the card that is on the table is from my thumb. Okay, this is the new sentence. The card that is on the table is from my thumb. So you don't need it here again. Yeah, you erase it. And then you look at the card. The card is what? Thing. And then you have to add it that. So the card that is on the table is from my thumb. Okay, you understand about my explanation so far? Yeah. So now, now, so you have to do these exercises at home. Yeah. So here are your exercises. So from student book, you have to do lesson two. Try to do lesson two, page seventy nine, and then do exercise two. Yeah. Look at your book. Have you found the page? And then number three, you have to do lesson six, page eighty-four. Yeah. Yeah. And then after that, you do exercise two also. Yeah. And then lesson seven, page eighty-five. This is uh, read about the sky lanterns and then answer the question over there, yeah? And then do exercise two. Then for the review, page 87, you have to do exercise two. Okay. Have you uh, design to your book, yeah? And then activity book. Lesson 2, page 63, and then do exercise 1 and 2. Okay, lesson 6, do exercise 1 and 2 also. Lesson 7, page 68. Yeah. Okay. Um, so that's all about uh, our lesson today.